all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i got an awesome video to show you guys so this video is gonna show you how to play all your ps5 games your ps4 game every type of playstation games directly on your asus rogue ally all right so i'm gonna show you all the steps what you gotta do what you download and i'm gonna put all the links down in the description below and i'm gonna show you how to do it make sure it's running efficient and give you all the the tricks all the settings and stuff like that this app is great it's called checky or chaki or whatever like, like that it's basically like the places and streaming app but it's kind of better right so let me get into it and i'll show you all the stuff you need and what to get you gotta go to the website should be in the link down in the description down below you gotta hit it it's a new one that just came out version 2.2 you gotta make sure you download it and you gotta extract it right as you can see in the video when you finish download it just follow my steps step by step you got to go into the files after you finish download it you got to make sure you extract all the data when you extract it you got to make sure you put it in a folder where you could access it later right so just watch the video you can see exactly what i'm doing because this is not a live commentary right page so now you just gotta get the get your ps ps id right the link for this will be in the description down below as well when you get to the website you just gotta put your playstation id in it and then click submit and it's gonna generate a code for you go back to the chaki settings and then you make sure you put it in that section where it says PSID, as you can see in the video. When you do that, then you have to go to your PlayStation 5 or your PS4. You got to get that pin. Just got to follow the steps to go to settings. Then you go to system. Then you go down to remote play. Then make sure remote play active and it's enabled. Then you gotta click link device. When you press link device, it's gonna generate a pin for you. That's the pin that you need to put in to the checky app. When you get back to the app, you just put it in the same part. We just put it in the part that says pin and then hit registered. When you hit registered, then that's it. You should be good up and running. Now, some settings that I need you guys to change to make sure you're running efficient. Make sure you change the resolution to 1080p, which is for PS5 and PS4. And the audio buffer, make sure you put 4000, right? Once you get that done, then you should be good. So there's some issues with this app as well, that with like the sound and stuff, there's some issues with the sound. When you finish downloading everything, you're gonna hear some cracking sounds and stuff like that in the game or in the system, there's a fix for that as well. Just make sure you follow the steps and I'll, you know, the video will show you exactly what to do. If you can see in the video, you can see that, what I'm talking about, if you can listen closely. So I, I'll to fix that now. You go back to the same file where you download Checky. You go to audio. When you get to audio, you delete the second one, which is uh, Q audio window DLL. That's the one you gotta delete. Once you delete that, then you also gotta make sure the app is closed. Make sure check is closed and nothing is not running in the background before you delete it. Cause it's, it's gonna tell you that you gotta close it. So when you do that and you get it deleted, then you can run it back and then you can see the difference in the sound. <laughs> Next, I want you guys to do is add Checky to Armor Crate so it's easier to access. So you're gonna add it just like a regular app. When you go to Armor Crate, you go to Add, Left Bumper, and then it's gonna bring up the file system. You just gotta locate where you saved the Checky executable, and then you just gotta add that. Once you hit Save and Done, it's gonna you're gonna see pop up on armor crate 
next thing I want you guys to do is you gotta make sure you map the buttons correctly, which is the PSN button and the touchpad button. So in the video, make sure you go back to Armor Crate, then you go to the, the configuration for your controllers, and then you're just gonna map it. As you can see in the video, the Escape and T is for the touchpad and for the PSN button. So you're just gonna map those buttons to M1 and M2, which is behind the Ace Rook Ally. Once you do that, then when you go to start a game and you press M1, it should react like the PS button or whatever you do it. And if you click M2, then it should react just like the touchpad. As you can see in the videos, follow the video step by step, and then you see what I'm talking about. Yeah guys, that's basically it. And thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna leave a little bit of gameplay at the end so you guys can see the controls. You just gotta tweak it to your liking. And yeah, and then you should be good after that. Just make sure you tweak it and set all the buttons that you want. Hit to set for and then you should be good. But that's basically it guys. And drop a comment down below. If you like what I'm posting, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, guys. And tell me what you think down below. Think I'm doing good? Think I'm doing bad? Let me know. And thanks for tuning in, guys. And remember to always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm kind of off. I don't, remember, I don't remember the controls. You get my phone, but that's basically it, guys. So this is how you get to play your PS5 games. Get off me, huh? The PS5 games. On the Asus Rogue Ally, and it's smooth if you can see, you're getting 60 